I'm very thankful for everything that the Lord blesses us with. I'm just so very thankful that God he is always with us. And this morning in in my uh, in my Bible reading time and my Bible study time, I've been going through the book of Romans and I've been reading through and just reflecting on Romans and I mean I've read on Romans so many times but every time I just go to it's just you know it, always something new or or just a different way of looking at the passage of scripture but this morning what stood out to me I was reading from Romans 5 and this passage of scripture these particular verses verses 6 and 11 really stood out to me as it stood out to me before but obviously today it's been no different and it says for while we were still weak at the right time Christ died for the ungodly and just reflecting on that verse alone starting in verse 6 where it just starts with a bang you know for while we were still weak at the right time Christ died for the ungodly can you imagine just the fact that we at one point enemies with God say that God was our enemy and that God was definitely not going to let us into his presence, let us into his kingdom. But God provided the way of salvation for us to be saved. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, at the right time, as it says here. For while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. I can't imagine if I were to go ahead and die for people who hated me, for people who despised me, but yet that's what Jesus did. In front of in front of the crowd that was there, who were shouting, crucify him, crucify him. And yet he said, Father, you know, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I mean, I just can't imagine having that attitude and even right there at the cross with all these people present and shouting these hateful things against Jesus and yet he still went and did it and it was still God's will to send his son to go ahead and do it where it was at the right time as it says here for while we were still weak at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die, right? As Paul wrote about here. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. And while we we're still sinners. You know, God still looked at my life. And when I was living in sin, when I was being rebellious against God, when I did not care about God's will, when I did not care if God even existed, but yet, God in knowing that, still sent his son that while we were still sinners Christ died for us it applies to me it applies for all of us that while we were still sinners and this involves everyone all the world past present and future while we were still sinners while you were still living in sin while I was still living in sin while we were still enemies of, of God, Christ died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ still died for us. God showed his love for each of us by still sending his son when he didn't have to. God could have just let us live in sin could have just let us be in rebellion. He could have just let us just dwell 
in our wicked ways and we just would have gone to hell we just would have received the just punishment for our sins the just punishment for our rebellion the just punishment for never turning to God for always against always going against the will of the Lord God could have just left us where we were could have perfectly and easily but yet that was not the case God still had the plan of salvation God still sent his son Jesus Christ that while we were still sinners Christ died for us <laughs> praise the Lord hallelujah since therefore we now have been justified by his blood amen much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God for if while we were still sinners we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more amen much more now that we are reconciled shall we be saved by his life if we were reconciled to God by the death of his son then much more now do we have life because the son has life because the son did not stay dead because Jesus rose from the grave and we too, one day, will rise as well. Even if we pass on from this life and we go to the grave, that's only temporary. That is only temporary. Sure, the early believers who died in Christ in the first century, right? They're still in the grave. But yet, and still after 2,000 years, that's still only temporary. The Lord will return. 